Hey guys, I'm John, and today we're going to talk about this little guy. This is the Kaogo Throttle Stabilizer for the Ninja 1000 or Z1000SX. The Kaogo Throttle Stabilizer is a simple mechanical device that replaces the right side bar end weight next to the throttle, and it works kind of like a cruise control. Uh, basically the way it works, and we'll take a closer look at it later, but there is a threaded piece that when you rotate it in the direction of accelerating with the throttle, it adds some friction and it'll hold the throttle in place. And then when you rotate it forward, like you're closing the throttle, it releases, takes off that friction, and then your throttle is back to normal. And so you can choose to activate or deactivate this just by you know sliding your pinky over um, to roll on it when you're using the throttle. And the reason that it's not a true cruise control is because it doesn't hold a set speed. It's not an electronic cruise control. All it's doing is adding friction to the throttle tube and then holding it in place wherever you leave the throttle. So if you're going 60 miles an hour when you activate it, but then you hit a big hill, your bike's going to slow down and you'll have to manually add a little bit more to your throttle. So the reason that I wanted to get this, um, obviously having a cruise control on a sport touring bike is, is really handy. It just lets you rest your hand a little bit, especially on long stretches. Uh, but the other, the real big reason for this is that there are a lot of times, especially on a, on a long trip where you're on the road for hours at a time, and you just need to adjust certain things. You might need to, you know, zip up certain things on your jacket. Um, but the big one for me is adjusting the windscreen. So on this bike, uh, adjusting the windscreen is really, it's best done with two hands because you have to push down on this little button and then move the windscreen up and down. So there have been a lot of times where I'm on the highway and I want to raise the windscreen and in order to do that I need to make sure that there's no traffic behind me. I let off the throttle with my right hand and then the bike starts engine braking pretty hard and then I have to let go, press this thing down and use my left hand to push that up. So that's kind of a pain. Uh, so what this will let me do is actually just lock my speed in and then I have both hands free where I can adjust the windscreen or if I need to zip up anything on my jacket I can do that. So that's why I'm interested in this. Um, so we'll take a closer look at how this works, what it comes with, and then we'll do an installation and talk about my final thoughts. This is everything that comes with the Keiko Throttle Stabilizer. Like I mentioned before, this is a really simple device. Um, well, before I start, this is the model KEW160. This works with all model years of the Z1000SX, Z1000, and Ninja 1000. So you have this metal bar and weight and then a plastic ring. It's reverse threaded so that as you roll it backwards with the throttle, it moves inward a little bit. The spacer sits right here, and that's what presses on the throttle tube to create friction. They also give you an additional thin spacer just in case you need it, but you're not supposed to. Um, and then there's an Allen wrench to tighten this little grub screw. And the grub screw presses down onto the plastic threads and causes them to deform a little bit and put a little bit of pressure on them. So you don't want this to be free spinning like this. You do want a little bit of resistance, uh, so you just dial that in with this Allen wrench. You also get some instructions, which are pretty clear, and the sticker. Before we get this installed, I want to weigh the Kyoko versus the stock bar and weight. And that's because the bar and weight serves an important purpose, and it helps dampen vibration or absorb vibration um, by adding more weight to the handlebar. So if we look at the stock bar and weight, this is 284 grams. And if we look at the Kyoko with its spacer, 246 grams. So it's close, but uh, the stock bar and weight is a little bit heavier. In terms of the thickness or the stack height, you can see the Kyoko is a little bit taller, um, but they look very similar. So when this is on your bike, it's not going to look like it doesn't match the stock bar and weight on the other side. Installing the Kyoko throttle stabilizer is really easy except for the first step, which is getting the screw out that holds in the stock bar and weight. I've got another one here. This is what it looks like. And you can see this is how much red Loctite they put on from the factory. So this thing is really locked in there. When I first tried to take it off, I used this number three Phillips screwdriver bit. You can use either a number three Phillips or a number three JIS. And as you can see, it just shattered the bit trying to take this thing off. So what I ended up using was a heat gun. And I just put heat on it like this, blowing upwards so that you're not blowing down into the body panels because you don't want to damage the paint. And I just blew the heat onto this until it got really hot and started to loosen up the Loctite. 
and just as a reminder, so that's how far in this is. So basically once you know the bar end starts getting pretty hot, then you know that you're getting heat into the Loctite. Then to actually remove it, I use this ratchet with a number three screwdriver bit, and this gave me enough torque to actually get this thing loose. And it's already loose now, so this will come out easily. And I don't know if you can see this on the video, but this the stock screw is actually a little bit bent, and so you can see the bar end weight kind of wobbling a little bit. So that's the reason why I got another one, was just to replace this bent one. So to install the Kyoko throttle stabilizer, first we're going to put on the spacer, then the throttle stabilizer. Make sure this is all the way tightened. And put your screw back in. Okay, so the way this thing works is actually really simple. Uh, when you rotate this ring this way, it moves inward and puts friction on the throttle tube. So when this is all the way forward, you can see the throttle, there's a little bit of side-to-side -side play, and the throttle works like normal, where it snaps back when you let go. When you tighten this, now there's friction on the throttle tube, and it'll stay wherever you put it. And you can see there's no side-to-side -side play. So this is the kind of tricky thing about this, is I think you're supposed to be able to get this in a position where the throttle works like normal. So like right about here. But then if you grab the ring with the throttle as you're rolling back, then it activates it and holds the throttle. Then when you're ready to deactivate it, you can roll both forward at the same time. And then this works like normal. Um, like I mentioned before, just from a safety standpoint, even when this is activated and it'll hold the throttle in place. If you're in a panic situation where you just need to close the throttle, you can do it and easily override this. It's just adding just enough friction to hold the throttle in place by itself, uh, but there's no reason that you can't just close it with your hand. So that's it. That's the Kyoko throttle stabilizer. Like I said, it's a really simple device. Um, in terms of cost, I, I want to say this thing was like $140, which I think is really overpriced for how simple it is. But I also do think it's the most elegant solution for this bike. Uh, you don't have anything clamped onto your throttle tube that rests on the brake lever or anything else that's kind of big and bulky. It just stays out of the way. It's there when you need it. Um, and it's pretty simple to activate and deactivate. And I think it'll just take a little bit of practice. Um, it's probably not the perfect solution, but I think it's, it's good enough. And it'll let me lock the throttle when I need to. And then... Uh, you know, have my hand free so that I can adjust the windscreen or adjust my jacket or just relax my hands on a long trip. So let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, thanks for watching.